Hello and welcome to the explainer video series from Wi-Fi Texas. Today we're going to demonstrate how you can power a 5 volt non-PoE camera over a long run of Cat5. We have a switch which is connected to our passive 8 port PoE injector. We're going to 328 feet of Cat5. And we have our PoE testers which demonstrate the voltage that's available at the input and at the output of this CAT5 run. So with basically no load, just the load of our DC-DC converter, we have 24 volts going in and about 23.8 volts after 328 feet of cable. This is CAT5 cable that we just bought from Home Depot. The 24 volts is stepped down to 5 volts using our active DC-DC converter. In this test, we also have a little um, 5 volt tester you can buy uh, to demonstrate the, the current flowing. This is the 1.35 millimeter power connector used by all of these little 5 volt cameras. So as we plug in the 5 volts, the current then starts as the camera starts to boot, it's running at about 2.5 watts. So you can see that we have 5 volts at the camera, roughly, and about half an amp. The available voltage after this CAT5 run has dropped from 24 to 22.4, and it's about 300, about 3.5 watts of power. Shortly, this camera is going to start rotating its motor. At that time, we're going to see the power increase and the voltage that's available decrease. So now the camera is running. Our power is now jumped up to about 6 watts, so it's 6 watts when the camera is doing its thing. You can see over here that we have then about, about 6 watts, uh, 5 volts at about 1.3 uh, uh, amps. It's varying back and forth as the camera motor goes on and off. So here we are delivering the 5 volts that this camera needs over the full length of CAT5. If we were to not use this DC-DC converter and were to try to operate the camera only with CAT5, you would find out that if we input 5 volts for 10 watts of delivery, after only 10 feet of cable, we would only have 4.2 volts available. So basically using 5 volts on the CAT5 cable is not going to work. By stepping the 5 volts up to 24 volts, the voltage is increased by a factor of almost 5. The current is decreased by a factor of 5. Loss in CAT5 cable or any cable is the square of the current. So by increasing the voltage from 5 volts to 24 volts, we've decreased the loss by a factor of 25. And now we're able to reliably deliver exactly 5 volts after this full distance to the camera and it's running. Now the infrared um, side of this camera is currently not active because of all the lights. If we were to turn that camera uh, infrared on together with the motor, the power consumption would jump up to almost, uh, almost 10 watts. And we can deliver that using this DC-DC converter reliably independent of distance. So the devices shown today in this video are WSPOE-8, 8-port eight PoE injector, our PoE tester, and the camera you can buy from the FOSCAM W series, WANS cam, S cam, indoor, all kinds of indoor cameras with the, um, the drop cam. We have a little adapter that goes into the micro USB. And here's how you can power a 5 volt camera or any 5 volt device using Ethernet cable up to the full spec of 100 meters, 328 feet of CAT5.